Okay, I started having dreams. I had three dreams about him proposing to me whilst we were dancing. Tapos bigla na lang siyang lumuhod sa akin. He never failed to reassure me of how serious he is with me and that our relationship is something to be fought for. Si Lloyd din na rin nakapag-proof sa akin ng long distance. Good work. Lord God, sana makamit ako ng someone whom I could love until the end of time and who would love me back. It didn't take that long for me to meet my husband. Dumating na lang siya sa buhay ko. Marami pang bonus binigay si Lord. Whilst we were still on a long distance relationship, October 2015, yeah, I started having dreams. I had three dreams about him proposing to me. And we talked about this after everything na. And he told me na no October pa lang pala, bumili na siya ng ring. Tapos he proposed to me in January. Tapos meron kami family gathering in Boracay. Parang pamamanhikan na rin. So yung family ko and family niya, we're all gonna meet in Boracay. So parang same night of pamamanhikan. <laughs> Same night din siya nag-propose. I, I kind of felt like he was gonna propose on the 2nd of January kasi yun yung date ng pag-meet namin. Pero nag-propose siya dun sa actual New Year's Day whilst we were dancing. Tapos bigla na lang siyang lumuhod sa akin. I remember na na-teacher pa yun sa TV Patrol. One of the happiest moments of my life. A few hours before that, actually, I saw him talking to my parents. They were all smiling. They were all happy. I didn't know that he was actually asking for my hand na at that time. Kasi I was busy ko talking to my other friends. Very memorable night. Um, I've mentioned na three times ako na naginit ng proposal dreams. Pero ang pinaka tumatak sa akin is yung pangatlo. Yung last dream was, I saw white sand. Tapos nakita ko marami mga random people around gathering around us tapos nagpropose siya sa akin so exactly what happened in Boracay although walang sand doon sa rooftop pero i mean the fact that we were in the beach diba after namin nagpakasal na three times kami nagkaroon ng wedding diba first is civil wedding September 2016 and then January 23 the church wedding and then the the third one the beach wedding na so parang sakto doon sa dreams ko yung pangatlo is sa beach. It's just interesting na nagkaroon ako ng tatlong panaginip about proposals. Tapos nagkaroon kami ng tatlong weddings. And hindi namin pinlan na yun. I can finally eat my apple pie. So, hindi yeah, makafocus ko ano yung sasabihin ko susunod. Baka first and last buwang ko ito. <laughs> mm. Going back to long distance relationships, all I could say is that it's never easy. Long distance relationship isn't a joke. It requires so much effort. I must admit, during the early days of our relationship, there were times that I felt discouraged. Kasi nga, di ba, hindi talaga naniniwala sa long distance relationships. Fortunately, Lloyd, my husband, who was my boyfriend back then, he never failed to reassure me of how serious he is with me and that our relationship is something to be fought for. Like every time I felt down, every time I would say negative things already to him, no, don't think like that. I'm going back there soon. He would always reassure me, you know, that we are meant to be together forever. There, there were actually moments that uh, if I could just marry you now, I would. He would say those things. I don't know if you've watched our wedding video before. Um, in my vow, I have mentioned that when we had a date in Laguna on Hot Springs, we had a meaningful time in the lagoon. Sobrang romantic. Talaga. Parang movie. Kami lang yun Parang para sa amin talaga yung hot springs. I was on him like this. We were uh, dipped in the water. I was looking through his eyes and then I said, I really hope we would work out. And then, hindi ko talaga makalimutan na sinabi niya sa akin, No, don't hope. I know we will work out. Sobrang nag-melt talaga ako nun. Things like that. He was really good at reassuring me. So, sa mga long-distance relationships, I've, that's what I've learned. It's important to reassure each other all the time. Kung pwede, maya-maya eh. Reassure nyo yung isa't isa. Lalo na sa mga tao mahilig sa physical touch. Before, I thought relationship wouldn't work without any physical touch. Mahilig ako mag-holding hands, mahilig ako mag-cuddle. Kaya yun yung biggest red flag for me ng long-distance relationships. Kasi I couldn't cuddle the person that I love. How would we work out? He proved that wrong. Si Lloyd din lang yung nakapag-propose sa akin ng long distance. Good work. 
luckily he's self-employed so he could just like you know leave the UK fly to Manila whenever he wanted afternoon work ko sa UK once lang naman yun and that was the time I had the opportunity to meet his family and friends after that I halos every month kami nagkikita siya pupunta ng Philippines tapos papadala niya ako ng ticket papunta ng UK he's really such a gentleman siya yung nagkakover ng lahat ng gastos ko I really appreciated that kasi I'm a breadwinner so I always had to send money to my family so I, I couldn't really afford to always spend money on plane tickets so I didn't even have to tell him that like alam niya na agad yun na it was like understood without things being discussed we're very lucky now because of the technology kasi imagine yung mga long distance ng mga couples before tapos walang video calls it's important na mag video call kayo palagi it's as good as spending time with each other physically kailangan talaga mag adjust sa time zones kasi lalo na pag sa ibang bansa yung partner nyo buti na lang ako sanay ako magpuyat because of my tapings I would stay up until 4 in the morning tapos siya naman kahagising lang niya yan something like that magaling kami sa pag manage ng time namin yeah and always trust each other have faith and then I suggest whenever you see each other you go to church together pray together I really believe in couples who pray together would stay together I remember Tina asked kung pinagdasal ko ba raw si Lloydy yes every day to be honest before I met him no 2013 I was kind of adrift. My naging darkest moments ako sa buhay ko. I've had failed relationships, my first and my second. Tapos may dinate ako na from Cebu who turned out to be a drug addict. Puro failed lahat. I wasn't happy. I was like fed up with the failed relationships and failed dating experiences. There was a time that I stopped praying and I became superficial. Undeniably, yun yung naging darkest times of my life when I stopped praying to God. Sabi ko kay Lord before, mabait naman akong tao, pero bakit lagi ako nakaka-experience ng mga kamalasan sa buhay? Parang puro negatives. Well, when it comes to relationships, I was like, it was all failed. But then, sa career, I was really doing well. Like, I was earning a lot. Yun nga lang, hindi ako happy. I wasn't happy with my money. Like, I just spent it unwisely. I was very impulsive. I do impulsive shoppings and here and there. So I found temporary happiness in spending my money traveling here and there. One thing good about that was I always loved like spending my money with my loved ones, with my best friends, with my family. So sobrang generous ko. Yun nga lang, so sobrang generous ko lang ako na ipon as I've said, diba? I just kept working and working, tapos spend and spend just to cover up my unhappiness. There was like really something missing in my life life because first of all I'm longing for a constant partner na in life when I was sa face in my life when I started becoming adrift in life I was going out a lot partying a lot I've been encountering fake friends very unhealthy lifestyle I would always like get drunk to go to sleep so unhappy talaga then one day I just woke up I, I can't live like this anymore I started praying again and I realized that how important God is in my life because if there's no God there's no direction direction in my life I went to church. I deeply repented for my mistakes. I called my parents again. I apologize for all of my mistakes since I was a kid up to the present time. You know, for all of my shortcomings, I've apologized for everything. For the second time, parang nilondi ko ulit yung kaluluwa ko. And then, I stopped being superficial. Kung before, ang pinagdarasal ko is dapat matalino ang mga papangasawa ko. Dapat kuwapo. Dapat mayaman. Dapat my good profession. Ganyan. Ganyan ako magdasal before. After that, mid-2000, 2013, I stopped being superficial and I just said, God, I'm so sorry for all of those shallowness. I just repented. Just make sure to repent for your mistakes and I think the blessings would really snowball. I think that's when God realized that ready na to, ready na si Valerie. I would always go to Baclaran Church pala. Kasi kung prayerful din kayo, if you wanna start praying in Baclaran Church, di ba ang Baclaran Day is Wednesday? I started doing it on a Tuesday night, really late night, like around 11.30 p.m. to 12 midnight para maiwasan yung traffic the next day. Actually, nagturo sa akin yun is si Phil. Si Phil yung husband kasi nagpabaklaran day din siya. After that, I continued doing it. And kahit na hindi baklaran day, talaga pumupunta ako kahit Monday or Tuesday, ganyan. And then I continued praying and I light candles. Kapag nagdarasal ako, sinasabi ko na is, Lord God, sana makamita ko ng someone whom I could love until the end of time and who would love me back just the same. Parang ganun na yung mga prayers ko. It didn't take that long for me to meet my husband. Tumating na lang siya sa buhay ko. Marami pang bonus binigay si Lord. Ang hirap talaga mag-talk and eat. Yan, hindi maganda mag-talk and eat. <laughs> Tapos baka mapanood pa to ng, ng daughter ko si Emilia. Tapos sabihin sa akin, Mommy, I thought you shouldn't talk while you're eating. While your mouth is full. <laughs>
Anyway, yung totoong mukbang kasi talaga hindi sila nagsasalita, di ba? Yung talaga puro kain lang sila, tapos parang fiesta yung buong table. Anyway, as I've said, bibigyan ako ng blessing ni Lord. May mga bonus pa. Kasi Lloyd is not just a good person, but he's also good looking. So, si Lloyd talaga, sabi ko, nagbigay talaga ng bonus. First of all, try to repent for all of your mistakes. Truly repent for your mistakes, not try. Stop being superficial. You know what? Just accept whatever Lord brings you. Kung hindi naman gwapo si Lloyd, kung talagang compatible yung personality namin, I would love him until the end of time. It just so happened that he's also good looking. So, thank you, Lord. <laughs> Fast forward, going to marriage na. Siyempre, walang fairy tale. It may seem like we got it all figured out, but no, walang ganun. This is not a Wattpad story or a movie. This is not a fairy tale. The reality is, walang perfect. There will be ups and downs in all kinds of relationships, whether it's a marriage or kahit mag-boyfriend, mag-girlfriend pa lang kayo. I mean, even in families, may ups and downs, di ba? It happens, that's life. Sometimes you get bored. And when I say bored, hindi lang yung lalaki, hindi lang yung babae. Both of you could get bored in a relationship. The thing is, that's okay. It's a matter of finding that person that, that you could get bored with, have fun with, cry with, laugh with, until the end of time. So, it's okay if you get bored in your relationship. It only means that you're human because that's part of life. It doesn't mean that when you get bored in a relationship, it means you have a bad relationship. I think, to be honest, being bored sometimes is good because those are the times when you could come up with ideas and then you could plan together and then resolve that boredom, diba? Right? Sometimes when you're, you're bored, that's when you reset your mind. You refresh your mind. You come up with new ideas. Also, pag nag-aaway kayo, tapat yung isa. Hindi kayo nag nagkakasabay. Kung yung isa mainit, dapat yung isa malamig. And you should also compromise. Pag nag-asawa na kasi kayo, it's not always about you na lang. It's about both of you. Yan isa natutunan ko ren. Kasi before, I thought it's just always about my needs. What about his needs? You have to give importance to each other's needs. You have to compromise all the time. This is a teamwork, a lifetime teamwork and forgive. There will be a lot of time where you could piss each other off. You know, you could get annoyed, especially pag mga babae, mag monthly cycle natin, pwede tayong madaling maging irritable. The others should be patient and they should know, kahit daw wala kang sabihin, alam nila kung kailan ka may period. Always really talk to each other, you know. Pero when I say na find a partner who could like read you even without saying anything, it doesn't mean you're not gonna talk forever. <laughs> it's always good to open up. Like for example, nung naging depressed ako, syempre, di ba? Nung una, medyo embarrassed na ako to say it. But I did. And once you do it, it's gonna get better. Just get out of your comfort zone. Kami kasing Lloyd, we've been married for ano, six years. Actually, 2016, Kami. Malapit na pala kami mag 7 years. So, I think you first 2 years, first 2 to 3 years, yun yung pinaka mahirap eh. You're trying to combine each other's lives, right? Living with another person is not that easy. Like, you have to adjust to each other's needs. You have to gradually adjust. I think once you've overcome that, must make chance that you will last really long. As I've said, it's a teamwork. It's never easy. Always learn to forgive. Tapos ko pag may away kayo, you have to learn to shrug it off as well. Don't like dwell on it. Don't bottle up things. Just say it. Vent it out. And also find that balance in your relationship. Don't just always spend time with each other. You should also spend time with your friends and with your, your family if you can. In my case, I have to travel to the Philippines to spend time with my family. It's a good thing I have two best friends in London. So from time to time, I see them. And also, I will be going back to work soon. Always respect each other's spaces. Wag kayo yung parang laging check ng check ng phone ng partner mo. It would just make him feel uncomfortable. I, ako kasi personally, I, I never like that. And I never would like my partner to do that with me. I leave everything with God. Kung meron kayong dapat malaman, malalaman nyo talaga yan without even trying to do so. God works in mysterious ways. So just relax. Have faith. Trust in your partner. Never depend on your partner too much. Kasi baka masakal din yung partner mo. Ayaw ka rin na masyado nagdependent sa akin eh. So ganun din dapat. And I think these are the keys for having healthy and harmonious relationship. Finally, done. I have one last advice pala. Avoiding petty fights. For me, I think you should like be careful with what you say. I know that I've said that you should always talk to your partner, right? But you should also be careful with speaking out your thoughts. Because not all thoughts are meant to be spoken. So some of them should just stay in our minds. <laughs> and if you're having trouble with doing that, why don't you try like writing down your thoughts? Type them down on your notes on your phone. It's my way of like releasing my emotions without causing an argument. Because what if I say something stupid? What if I said something that wasn't worth 
arguing about. Sometimes we tend to do that pag mainit ng ulo natin, di ba? So just be careful with your words. Writing down your thoughts, your feelings, and then have a rest. And then read them again after a few hours or the next day, maybe sleep on it. It's like gathering your thoughts. You'll spot the thoughts that are not meant to be talked about. Ganun yung way ko. Nagging kasi will just not give you a harmonious relationship with your partner. Dun magsisimula yung pagiging toxic na relationship ninyo. Kasi ganun ako dati sa ex ko. So, I've learned to control myself. So, I do that by my writing down my thoughts. And then I review because the next day when I read them again, oh my gosh, I'm just so glad that I didn't speak out these thoughts. They sounded silly. Learn yourself to control. Self-control talaga. Try your best. Well, I don't want to jinx this, but bira kami mag-away ng husband ko. And pa nag-away kami, kahit na minsan ako yung may mali, siya pa rin yung nagsusorry. Kasi ma-pride nga akong tao. Yun yung I am not proud of it. I actually, I'm working on it. I'm trying my best not to be ma-pride. Kasi yun yung parang pinaka-flow ko. Pero buti na lang, Bait si Lohedi. Minsan, kung hindi naman siya nag-sorry, like, we just find ways to just, like, cuddle each other. I think cuddling is a good way. Like, if that's your love language, then if you just suddenly hold each other's hands or just suddenly kiss each other, then resolve na yung problema ninyo. <laughs> Wala nang kailangan mag-sorry. <laughs> Actually, pride is not good, of course. Yan ang pinakakalaban ko. Dapat na nga, makakuha kayo ng partner na compatible kayo. Kasi, di ba, imagine kung ako hindi nga ma-pride ako, hindi ako mahilig mag-sorry. Paano kung yung partner ko ganun then eh hindi talaga kami magla-last lo so i'm just so glad na ganyan si Lori Dick <laughs> Much me in heaven come in. I think I've discussed now everything about my dating history and handling the long distance relationship with my husband before and dealing with our arguments. I think there's another person who mentioned about that. Ito, si Melanie T. Hi Va, what is your advice when it comes to differences between you and your husband? Nagaawi ba kayo? I think I've answered the question already, right? Kayla's lifestyle. Hi Val, I met you in Starbucks in Reading the day you took your life in the UK exam. Yeah, true, you're kind, very approachable. Dili ka Dita. Oh, dagang salamat, Dai. Dagang salamat, Kayla. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I could see your picture. Oh, familiar ka nga. Ikaw nga yun, yung na-meet sa mall. Lazy. My, my favorite vlogger. I love their beautiful family. You're a wonderful mom, Miss Banks. Thank you so much sa lahat ng mga compliment that I am a wonderful mom. I appreciate those compliments more. I am still appreciative for all of your comments, no matter what it is, to whatever compliment you are giving me. Shara Bondo. Hi Val, you're here. Thank you. Thank you for visiting my channel. From Ashton Harley. Hi Bang, si kaulang artista na pina follow ko sa FB, chaka si YouTube channel. More videos pa po sa YouTube channel ng baby ko to. Oh, thank you, Ashton. Hi, Val. Para sa akin, you're beautiful inside and out. Kasi po, na-share nyo na nakaranas po kayong depression. Ask ko lang po kung paano nyo po na-handle yung depression. Nasa stage po kasi ako ng postpartum. Baka po magkaroon ng idea para maiwasan o ma-apply ko po yung kung ano man ang dapat kong gawin. Blessed to all your family, Ma'am Val. Azel Igcasenza? Azel, balikan nyo yung first video ko. Kasi, I think I did, I mentioned that already. Um, yung about sa depression ko. So, sana makatulong yun sa'yo. Tommy Dax Kaminaga. Sobrang ganda mo po, Miss Bangs Forever Crush. <laughs> Thank you, Tommy. In your own perspective, Miss Bangs, mas sweet and romantic po ba ang magkaroon ng kasintahan or asawang foreigner? Or may advantage pa rin po ba ang Pinoy or, or disadvantage? Thank you po. Have a nice day. My previous relationships were Filipinos. I love the fact that my husband is half Filipino, half British kasi may Filipino values pa rin siya. Feeling ko kung pure British siya, baka mas may hirap mag-work out kasi yung cultural differences, minsan yun yung nagiging cost ng hiwalayan. Pero marami naman nag-work out na mga pure Filipino and pure British. In my opinion, I think it doesn't matter. I really love the Filipino values, the Filipino culture. Kaya natutuwa ako na half Filipino yung husband ko. For my next vlog, abangan niyo yung mga susunod na questions. Uh, before I end this video pala, I would just like to let you know na I'm gonna have a giveaway, a jewelry giveaway, once I reach 300,000 subscribers. Abangan niyo yung mechanics sa Instagram ko. I will be announcing it soon. In fact, I am going to visit the jewelry shop tomorrow here in London. Meron din silang jewelry shop in the Philippines. So, kung ang mananalo is from the Philippines, don't worry about it. We can ship it to you there. And actually, in some parts of America, pwede rin sumali Abangan ninyo yung mechanics ko and yung mga terms and conditions. Ayan! Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and sana marami kayong natutunan. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. See you soon! Bye! Alrodia Jewelers. So that's Alrodia.
sure. So, ayan, meron silang sale. Welcome to Alrodia! These are the owners. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hi, Ma. How are you? Kumusta naman yung three hours travel ko? <laughs> Pero sabi ko nga, I'm up for an adventure today. Kasi nga, both of my kids are in school. Kaya, exercise na sa akin.